Not any great passing going second half. It's all been pretty long stuff. But still a bit of life in this game yet. Header on by Jones on side here. He's Daryl Murphy. Can he finish it now? Yes, he can. or so for Sunderland, it's Daryl Murphy and it's 3-1. Well, once again it's Kenwin Jones winning the winning the head up. Drags the ball away from goals, Daryl Murphy. You think the angle's a little bit tight. Good control with the thigh and smashes it past Jessica Lina. Roy Keane, Sunderland fans and Sunderland, Sunderland players can beat. Number 11, Great Daryl sigh of relief. This whole second half, we always run the risk of losing a goal like that when you're throwing the bodies forward at Bolton Hub in the second 45 minutes. That wraps it up for Sunderland, no doubt about that. The man who's been linked with a move away from Sunderland in recent months, Daryl Murphy, off the bench to relieve those nerves, and they were considerable. For Bolton Wanderers, the agony for Gary Megson goes on away from home. Well, it's made for exciting football. I've just not been able to hold on to the ball. I get any kind of passing going at all this second half. Gary Megson must be thinking, what have I got to do to get a point? Battered them in the second half. And then the killer go, and they're throwing bodies forward. And once again, Sunderland find the ability to score a late goal. Seventh time they've scored in the last five minutes of games this season. Murphy's might not have produced any extra points, but the previous six certainly did. Well, they've had some huge performances today, Kieran Richardson. Kevin Jones through the middle for Sunderland has been fantastic. The two central defenders, Paul McShane in particular, the two just in front of them, making sure he protects his two central defenders. Have all been terrific for Sunderland today. It's going to be a happy New Year celebrations for Sunderland fans who've endured a lot, not only this season. They've been up, they've been down, but they're very much on the up under Roy Keane, stepping into 2008. His side had to defend stoically in the second half under terrific pressure from Bolton Wanderers. Murphy eased the pressure with the goal in stoppage time after it had started so brightly for Sunderland with a goal for Kieran Richardson on his return. And then from Richardson's corner, Kenwin Jones, who ran the line superbly, got his first goal in nine appearances to make it 2-0. But El Hadj's juice free kick, which seemed to take a slight deflection off Paul McShane, made it 2-1. Bolton hopped and popped in the second half, couldn't blow the Sunderland house down, and Murphy wrapped it up late on. Genuine relief around the Stadium of Light, disappointment for Juth and Bolton Wanderers, still awaiting their first away win of the season. And for the Sunderland chairman, Niall Quinn, real genuine relief. Final score at the Stadium of Light, Sunderland 3, Bolton Wanderers 1.